Seven Ways to Make Any Woman Chase You In this video, we are going to take a look at the seven ways to make any woman chase you. Laws of biology and attraction make it a given that the people of the opposite sex are always in a game to attract the best of mates. Therefore, it naturally follows that every man chases a woman. Despite the traditional notion that it is a man who does all of the chasing, you can find examples of a woman pursuing a man too. There are certain tips and tricks to make that a possibility. Women are, by their very nature, shy and reluctant to be the chaser in this game of love. Some, like Patrice O'Neill, say that the fear of getting rejected makes a woman not take the lead and go after a guy in the same way that perhaps a guy goes out to get a girl. It has to be said that the mind and the heart of a man goes hand in hand while chasing someone. He has got his heart set on someone and he will use his mind, every trick in the book, to make her his own. Women, on the other hand, like to be pursued and persuaded, but one can turn the tables on this traditional game and make the woman be the chaser. Some men have the natural charisma of being persuaded by women. This is not something that everyone is blessed with, but we can learn about such people and see what exactly it is that makes that woman pursue these people. We'll take a look at that shortly, but before that, we'd like to say that we are making these videos for free. We want to share the personalities, the behavioral aspects, and the relationships between people of all the spectrum in our channel. In an effort to keep that going, we'd like you to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button too so that we can make these videos for free. Also, we will be encouraged if you hit the like button. Okay, are you ready to know the seven ways to make any woman on the planet chase you? Let us roll. Number one, don't be the chaser. The hunter can't be hunted, nor can the person who wants to be caught be the catcher. So the first rule of this game is that you can't chase the woman. Look, women have their hands full when it comes to the number of people who are in pursuit of her. Some of them bore her down to death. You can't add to that list. You simply cannot. Besides, nothing that comes too easily can ever be of the slightest importance. Play hard to get. And you can't be as easy as calling her no sooner than she arrives home. When there's a bit of tension as to who's supposed to do the calling, you can't pander to her. Hold your ground, no matter how difficult it is. Patience is a virtue, and rightfully so. Christopher Hitchens used to say that he found patience to be one of the most overpraised of virtues. This was because he believed that in the grand scheme, we've got very little time in the universe, and therefore, being patient wouldn't be the best of options. But relationships tend to be different. The relationship that takes longer to develop takes that much more time to come to an end too. There will be greater number of memories, greater strength attached to that relationship. So rule number one, don't be easy, play hard to get, and don't ever add to the list of people who pander to every little interest of hers all the time. Number two, take a risk, get adventurous. Women are particularly interested in risk takers. Everybody wants a thrill in life. In the luxury of our houses, our primeval interest in stepping out of our comfort zone has numbed down. As a result, we see that the interest in sports such as bungee jumping, paragliding, and ocean diving are booming. Take part in any one of those sports just to get a feel of life's thrills. This will serve two purposes. It will give you confidence that you can survive this. Next time you're into someone who you've not confessed your feelings to, ask them if they'd ever join this sport with you. Tell them that you've done this before and that you can handle it. No woman would ever not find comforting words such as, I'm there for you, we can do this, we can do this together, sexy. Besides, the adrenaline rush of participating in sports such as this will also make you feel closer to death, the opposite of life. And sometimes the opposite of life is what adds so much to life. Think about a relationship too. It is the uncertainty in a relationship that drives you to perform better. No good love story has ever been written about some people who cannot be separated. It's the element of separation that adds spark to love life. So get in touch with the opposite and take a risk. Do something adventurous. Number three, don't ever be afraid of silence. Most guys are afraid of silence. Most of the time they like to be alone and well, do their own thing. But when it comes down to a girl, they assume that they've got to get rid of the silence in a conversation, that the conversation needs to be flowing all the time. This is not always the case. If you're comfortable with the silence and pauses in the conversations, you will come across as someone who's more secure. Can any guy who is pushing a conversation forward in a direction it's not supposed to ever be attractive or chase-worthy? Let us know in the comments down below. Besides, you also have to realize that music wouldn't really exist without pauses. A fulfilling meal wouldn't really be possible without a hungry stomach. In the same way, a conversation wouldn't be possible without the silence and pauses in between. 
If you can harmonize the silence along with the wonderful words you have for her, you'll get a feel of a truly balanced person, a wonderful talk. Number four, have some other ladies in your life. If you have other ladies in your life, you'll be worth that much more to other ladies. Sure, you don't need to come across as a Casanova or a person who can't help but flirt. The other ladies in your life shouldn't necessarily be people who drool over you. They can be girls or women who look up to you as a role model, the ones who talk about you in the most wonderful of ways. If some of them are into you, that helps big time. All of this will indicate to the other that you're highly valued. And who wouldn't want the prize that is so very highly valued? The trick to make that possible is to be comfortable with being surrounded by ladies without ever having to doubt your masculinity, without ever being pushed over by them. You might see someone really feminine who is surrounded by beautiful ladies. You can't ever be that way. You've got to preserve your masculinity. Make the other ladies flow to the tune of your instructions or words, but without appearing vain or bossy. Well, how exactly can you do that? We all don't want ready-made answers to all things all the time, do we? Number five, don't be afraid of a heartbreak. A person who has never lost a precious thing in his life has never known the value of one either. Often you see the people who have the wisest of words are people who have seen the greatest depths of miseries too. The people who hold on to things such as the love of a friend, the care of a mother, and the deepest ways are people who have had a friend walk out of their lives, someone who's seen a close one depart. In the same way, you will only ever be able to have a great romance if you let go of the fear that you're going to get hurt. As Charles Bukowski famously said, discover what you love and let it kill you. So only if you let go of the fear that someone might walk out of your life are you going to discover the abyss of love. If you carry this sense of fear, women are going to sniff it. They're great observers of body language, so you should be able to let go of the fright. As we said earlier, women like risk takers, people who aren't afraid to risk their lives. So why fear a heartbreak? Number six, have style. Having style shouldn't be confused with the way you choose to dress or the way you choose to mend your hair. Having a personal sense of style is often your own being, the little things you do such as expressing the same thought in a number of different ways. For instance, you can say I love you in a few variations, love loves to love love, as James Joyce did, or those three words are said too much, they're not enough, like Gary Lightbody. How would you say the same thing in your own way? What is your style? Find that out. Then you can also work on other things, such as the way you carry yourself around other people, the way you communicate, not simply with her, but with other people around her too. And the more distinct and pronounced and astute you get with your style, she'll feel that there's no one like you, and everyone likes to possess something that no one else has. Number seven, love them deeply. While thinking about the tips and tricks to get a woman to chase you, you shouldn't ever forget that she's craving for love, not the needy, sticky sort of love, but a love that's carefree. More like the famous old sinner in poem, the bird has no intention to cast its reflection in the water, nor does the pond have any intention of retaining the image. And in that mindless state that love is, the state where you and she dissolves into something greater than either of the two, you are going to discover that it's only in love that you find the meaning of life. There's no substitute to this. There's no alternative you have for love. You can have all the tricks in the book, you can have all of your nifty little calculations and whatnot in order to make them chase you. But in the end, it all comes down to whether she gets what she deserves. And if she's someone you're after, then she probably deserves all the love in the world. As that famous old song says, all you need is love. Patrice O'Neill said that a perfect relationship is where the girl loves you and the guy likes her. Most of the time, there are no clear demarcations between like and love. Sometimes you feel you only like her, only to find out that after she's gone that you loved her. Sometimes you feel like you gave her all the love in the world, only to realize that that was all superficial. Either way, let you be full of love and the rest go on its own. While some people feel that a guy being chased after by a woman can only come from the natural magnetism of the guy, it is true that you can work your way around the things women find attractive and make it a part of your being. One other thing, you must meditate and practice these things as only experience, the synonym for our mistakes, is what makes us better at what we do. What are the other tricks you've used to make a woman chase you? Let us know in the comments below. That way, another one of your mates who's looking to make a woman chase him will be successful in his endeavor. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. In the meantime, you can watch the video on the screen.